Welcome to Curie Electronics Microcontroller and Applications Today we are going to see how the 8051 microcontroller reset circuit works. So uh, our approach is a practical learning approach not a so we will try to make the circuits so uh, this will lead to our embedded development. So this is the 8051 microcontroller. 8051 microcontroller if you see we have mainly four ports. First what you have to do the microcontroller we have to give the power supply. For the 8051 microcontroller working voltage is 5 volt. So this VCC VCC is connected to 5 volt and VSS that is the ground that is connected to ground. Now we have applied the supply to the microcontroller the working voltage. Then we need to connect the oscillator. We are using an external oscillator. So here we use a crystal. This is crystal. Crystal and two capacitors are there. 30 picofarad capacitors they are prescribed. We can use even 22 picofarad to 30 picofarad range. Then we have this microcontroller has got total 40 pins. Okay, 40 pins total 40 pins. 40 pins are there for this microcontroller. We have four ports that is port 0, port 1, port 2, port 3. Each are of 8 bits. Now, if you want to start this, this minimal circuit required to power on this 8051 microcontroller and run a small blink, LED blinking application or any small application, this is the minimal circuit you need. So what is the once more I will go through it. What you need? You have to connect the oscillator circuit. Prior to that you have to give the working voltage. Then see notice here pin number 31 EA pin should be connected to the 5 volt supply so that it will access the internal memory. Then then we have to give the reset circuit. How the reset circuit? Reset circuit the ninth pin is the reset function circuit and it is a active high reset. So what we have to do we have to connect a capacitor series with a resistor and this point we will connect to the ninth pin and here we will connect 5 volt. Uh, this is a reset circuit. To test actually to reset circuit we have what you mean by reset means we have to when when the microwave controller power on we have to hold the this pin number 9 that is a reset pin of the 8051 microcontroller to high logic for two cycles two machine cycles here i will write it here so this reset circuit i have made i will try to i will capture on the i will capture the waveform using a oscilloscope and i will show you so for that i have used a 10 microfarad capacitor and 10 kilo ohm resistor. This is a little bit higher value. You need not to use so much higher value. So this is what the value I had. So I have used it. There is a prescribed range for this. But you can go with a uh, just 10 microfarad capacitor and uh, 8.2 kilo ohm also. That is generally, generally we can no, no issue. You can use it. So we will make with 10 microfarad capacitor and 10 kilo ohm. Now uh, this reset pin also we are connected. If you observe here, there are two more pins here. That is the address latch enable and PSN program store enable. These two pins if we use external memory, external RAM and ROM, then we use these two pins. Actually. Uh, when this IC was introduced, there was one variant that was 8031. 8031. The 8031 doesn't have internal built-in memory. 
So when we want to use external memory, we use we use this address latch enable and program store enable. Now forget all that. Now what you have to do? What is the minimum circuit required to run a, any application? This 8051. You should have working voltage, oscillator, and reset circuit, power on reset circuit. Here, if you connect one switch here. A push to on switch uh, then we'll have a switch the switch then we'll have what uh, we have a manual reset also there so we can manually reset also now practically we will see that so before going I will just give you a little bit idea of the reset circuit so we have seen the reset circuit and now see uh, normally what is the crystal we use Generally, with a 8051, we use crystal frequency of 11.0592 megahertz. This is uh, because uh, for the serial communication, we'll get the border rate, exact border rate. That's why I use this crystal. Now, if you use this crystal, what happens? The machine cycle, the machine cycle will be machine cycle because we told we need two machine cycle to reset the microcontroller so machine cycle equals this this frequency will get divided by 12 so 11.0592 megahertz upon 12 times then we will get 921.6 kilohertz if you take time period 1, one upon f then you get 1.085 microsecond so this is the this 8051 uh, with 11.0592 megahertz crystal will take 1.085 microsecond for one machine cycle one machine cycle so for two machine cycles we should hold the reset pin at high now reset RST pin high for at least two machine cycles two machine cycles cycles that means we should have a, a pulse like this then it should go low high to low pulse we should get now when a reset happens what 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 happens when the reset when reset occurs all the registers reset all the registers will set to initial value that means our program counter program counter will be holding 00, zero value so it so the execution start from 00, zero memory location it will fetch from 00, zero memory location also uh, what you should know we should know that uh, the stake but the stake pointer will be holding a value of 07 so theoretically this much is sufficient to understand reset circuit and this is the minimum circuit see if you are planning to so next what we will do the next class we will be writing a code code for a led application and we will run it what i will add i will add just only one led and one current limiting resistor and i will use one port pin one port pin then so this is the minimal circuit required before we are getting into the coding so now uh, what we will do we will go to the uh, practical hardware and see how it is so I have made the circuit here. This is a 8088 C52 IC. Similar to say 8051 based microcontroller. 40 pins are there for this. And this is the oscillator circuit. I have used 11.0592 megahertz crystal and 222 PF capacitor as I have shown, in, shown you. Then to the reset circuit, that's the ninth pin from here. I have connected one resistor and one capacitor as shown you. 
then i have connected a manual switch across the capacitor so that i can manually reset the 8051 microcontroller now and i have applied vcc for 40th pin i have connected to the vcc also pin number i think 31 to ea that is a ea pin to the vcc so that is the basic circuit required to run the application so now i am going to see you uh, show you when power on when we power on the circuit reset pin what what waveform you get in the reset pin so let's see the scope okay i am going to power on now see you got a waveform here see in it this waveform was initially high it was initially high then it, uh, it is coming down it is coming to uh, low if uh, let let me uh, measure the period once so here just approximately we will measure it So it is from 0 to 5 volt pulse actually. So from high, high it is coming to a low. We we'll just take roughly this much. So you see we are getting we need only 2 microsecond approximately we need only 2 microsecond now actually we are getting around 50 millisecond we are getting so that is more than sufficient this was actually the power on reset okay this is actually the power on reset now let me show you how it looks when we do the manual reset so i am going to do the manual reset here this is a reset switch so i am going to press see the scope okay Uh, let me uh, uh, okay let me reduce the time period so increase the scale see we get a waveform like this see we got a waveform so, so this time period also if you measure let's uh, try to measure it what you are getting you are getting uh, nearly uh, 150 millisecond 168 okay not exact measurement just to give you the idea this is what is happening so initially the waveform is high when you uh, re manual reset it goes to high then it goes to low that means the reset is occurring from this high high state but whenever the control runs the application the reset pin has to be low so i hope now you won't get any doubt regarding the reset circuit if, if you have any doubt any questions please ask in the comment section also if you like the video please share with your friends and don't forget to hit the like button so we are going to learn the embedded development using 8051 pick and arm controller thanks for watching